Hey guys, uh, so it seems that Nvidia has very serious problem with their drivers and I feel like we are in alternate universe when uh, Nvidia actually has problem with drivers. What does it mean? Nvidia has something what is called CPU drivers overhead and it means that Nvidia drivers use more CPU power for operating the drivers and in the past it wasn't that big of an issue because cpu was very powerful and the games wasn't that cpu limited but with recent games that very cpu heavy that's becoming a very serious issue for nvidia but there is another thing but may be more important for many people if you want to upgrade your gpu but you want to keep your cpu then you can be cpu bottlenecked and hit by this issue of NVIDIA drivers. And have a listen, what Linus have to say about this. Slow CPU, Radeon, is actually probably for you. This is actually kind of interesting. An investigation by Hardware Unboxed has revealed a startling correlation uh, that may inform your next GPU purchase. Radeon GPUs run better on slower CPUs by up to 20%. 20% NVIDIA drivers lot. seem to have a much higher CPU overhead than AMDs at 1080p and even 1440p, resulting in a situation where an RTX 3090 gets lower frame rates than a lowly Radeon uh, 5600 XT or 5700 XT, which is bonkers. <laughs> That's crazy. This extends even to more modern mid-range CPUs like the Ryzen 5 3600X, where an upgrade from a 5700 XT to an RTX 3070 can lose frames. Interesting. Dang. This isn't limited to just Ampere. The same thing happens with the RTX 2080 Ti as well. CPU utilization with a Core i3 10,000. Guys, this is two years old video. The, the times change. Now we have next generation games focused on new consoles with stronger CPUs. And even, you know, in the last days game, Jedi Survival, with the top end, the stronger CPU you can get, you got hit by this issue. Uh, AMD cards can perform better at lower resolution than 4090 by quite substantial numbers. And even at 1440p, 4090 wins by few frames, and that's average frame, that's not lows. And with ray tracing, the difference is also quite small because you are CPU limited. But more important is the lows, because that's how you feel, you know, if the game is smooth or not. 4090 losing with 7900 XT, that's like $800 cart at the moment, it's half the price, and it's losing. And even with ray tracing, NVIDIA wins just by a little bit. It's becoming crazy. And what's becoming even more crazy, if you want to upgrade your GPU and want to keep everything else, because that's what most people want to do. They, they don't change and buy a new PC every time they want to upgrade. They upgrade the GPU. And if you want to do that, you may consider not to go NVIDIA because <laughs> it can be painful. Look at this example. This is very old card. It costs probably less than a hundred dollars at the moment. And imagine somebody wants to upgrade to, let's say, the very popular uh, 3060, which is like double the performance. And at the moment, that's the most popular card. You know, 3060, 3060 in uh, United States. In UK, also the most popular card at the moment is 3060. So. The performance of this card is about double, guys. It's about double. And somebody did a test comparing these two cards, 4080, with a very popular CPU in some of the recent games. Not even the newest of the newest, like uh, Jedi Survivor, but new games from the last year. And look at that. Witcher, the update of uh, Witcher 3. Look at the frames. 3060 losing to this old card because you are CPU bottlenecked and you have NVIDIA drivers overhead. And look at this one here, Hogwarts Legacy. Big win for this old GPU. So you upgrade a card, you pay like $400 at the moment to upgrade from this little guy and you get less FPS. It's crazy, guys. So the reason for that is one of the reasons developers moving forward and they start focusing on new generation consoles and they drop in support for PlayStation uh, 4, which is very old, 10 year old potato machine. And even this little guy 
because developers need to focus on the weakest system on the market and weakest system on the market at the moment is Sirius S. And even this little guy has eight core CPU. And most people have weaker CPU than that. But on top of that, you need to pay PC performance tax. You need way stronger machine to not be limited, let's say 30 FPS, because many console games don't even hit stable 60 FPS. So if you want like PC kind of premium gaming experience, you need way stronger CPU than that. And you don't want to have that performance limited by NVIDIA CPU overhead. So very interesting development, guys. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. And let me know in the comments below what you think about. You go in NVIDIA or AMD route this time. Thanks, guys. Bye.